Hello friends. Uh, good morning and I hope you're having a nice, I hope you had a nice Saturday and you're having a nice Sunday. Uh, my name is Jagar Parekh and I'm the CD 2099.9 in person Tyler. Uh, so today we are having a session, another doubt solving Saturdays. Today we are having a session mainly on LR. The one thing that I get told by students all the time is that LR puzzles may serve jab cases a jata na to problem hota hai. Understand that you do not have to be worried about LR puzzles with cases. Bohut easy hai. You just need to have the proper approach to it. Okay. Now I have taken two types of sums today. I'll explain how. Both of both of the different uh, two types of sums are very different. One is relatively easier. The second one is very tough. Very, very tough. But anyway, I'm gonna show you how to do it in merely barely two, three minutes. Okay? Chal. Let's start. So for everyone who does not know what this video is, it's uh, I call it the doubt solving Saturdays. You send me your doubts and I'll sol solve them in the best way possible. And uh, I have a lot of tricks for CET, how to solve LR, Quant, DI, English and abstract. Uh, so these tricks helps you uh, help you out a lot. If you ever have any doubts, you can reach out to me. I'll give you my contact details later. My mobile number is there and uh, you can reach out to me anytime. Send me your doubts and uh, let's get started. So this is one sum. This is the easier one that I mentioned. See, we have been given that there are seven people in an organization and uh, they have different salaries and they're of different ages. So simply now understand this. We have been given the positions of the people which are CEO, ED, CGM, GM, DGM, MG and AM. Yes, dear. Pehle toh, what I always say is that NLR, the most important thing that you guys make out is the skeleton. So we will ready the skeleton for you. So here is the skeleton ready. Kept it ready for you. Now we simply have to fill this up. Now the one way that I always say that LR kaise solve karna hai is there are three steps in which you solve any LR sum. You first use the direct positive points. The second one you use the relative points. And the third one you use the negative points. Direct points or as I say positive points are the ones just we have direct information. Diya hai. But let's read the question. So normally ye you zaruri have bifurcation because apna table otherwise thoda thoda bharega hi nahi. We have to at least start from the table now. So the age of DGM is 32 years old. 32. And his salary is 9 lakhs. Hmm? <coughs> the one who is CEO on, earns 12 lakhs. GM earns 6 lakhs. Banya. Neither CGM nor MG on 15 lakhs. Ye pandra nahi hai, ye pandra nahi hai. I am highly doubtful ke AM ko pandra milta hoga. So I am just assuming ke ye wala pandra hai for now. CGM is older than DGM. Ye is se bada hai. So this is going to be plus. And uh, the one who earns 4 lakhs is 25 years old. I am not, I am assuming ke ye bhi 4 years nahi hoga. I am going to keep it here. So, in the room, I say he MG or AM. I'll just for now assume that it is here. I'll tell you why I'm assuming, guys. Don't worry. But he is junior to the one who earns 6 lakhs. So, he is junior. Hai. Hai. ED is 28 years old. Oh, yeah, sure. 28 years older than the one who is AM. ED is 20, 28 years old than the AM. So, he is 53. But, CGM is five years older than the one who is ED. Take a minute. CGM is five years older than the one who is ED. CGM ED se bhi bada hai, five years old. So either I get 58. The difference in the ages of the one who won 15 lakhs and CEO is 12 years. Pandra lakh wala ye gaya. Is here CEO mein 12 saal ka farag hai. So this one is 41 years old. And the difference between the ages of CGM and MG is six years. MG, so this one should be 52. The person who wants 10 lakhs is senior to the one who is 52 years old. Ha, to dekho. 52 years old, ye hai. and that means, see, there are two cases. Ya to ye se saal chota, ya fir saal bada hota. So, the fact that the 52 years old, diya hai, matlab 52 hai apne samna. So, that is why ye 64 nahi aega, 52 hi aega. And 10 lakh wala is se bada hai, to 10 lakhs wala idhar a jayega. And 
the person the person who is mg earns 7 lakhs less than one than ed is say 7 lakh kam kama rahe so this will be 8 lakhs ed is 15 lakhs the person only one person is older than the one who earns 15 lakhs chalo matlab ye apna sahi hai ki ed is only 15 lakhs ye apna sahi hai and gm is 3 years younger than mg gm is 3 years younger than mg to ye aa jayega 49 and that is our sum that is ready and this was a very easy sum because isme hame cases nahi the what happened is that guys, when we fill in the positive points first, na, apna table at least thoda bhara hua lagta hai. Now understand, CET is very much a psychological game. If you see things that will make you confident, you will get confident. And if you are confident, the exam will go better. That is why the one thing that I always suggest CET ke pehle nahi karna is, baki logo ko paper mat poochho, jo pehle wale se nikal ke aaye na, don't ask them. Kyunki dekho, most people are not prepared for CET. Un loka... If you have a good paper, you will have a reaction to it. Oh shit, it's very difficult. And even if you are as prepared, you are well prepared to be a 99.99 percent Tyler. But if you have put stress in your mind, then it's over. Now, that person has prepared for 70 percent. And that person will give you, then you will have 99.99 percent Tyler. Just for that reason. So don't listen to all these people. Don't listen to the people who are unprepared. Always do your thing and always solve according to how you know things. Okay? And that is why I'm saying, again, don't ask the people previously and always be confident. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, always be confident. So, now let's go on to the second one, the second sum that I've taken. Now, guys, understand this. This is the sum that was comparatively easy. Tha. Now the one thing where people get very worried is, sir, बहुत cases है, cases कहाँ से, cases कैसे solve करूँ? Now guys, ये जो मैंने बोला ना, positive, relative and negative. So what happens is that positive information मतलब समझो अगर तुम्हें कुछ भी table दिया है, let's say you have been given a table, hmm? However the table is, जो भी दिया है, चलो. Positive information से क्या होगा पता है? ये table थोड़ा थोड़ा भर जाएगा. ये ये वाला भर गया ये भर गया ये भर गया ये जगह भर गई ये भर गई ये भर गई एंड ये वाली भर गई तो ये टेबल थोड़ा भर गया नाउ कम रिलेटिव पॉइंट्स रिलेटिव पॉइंट्स मतलब क्या इफ ए सॉरी एस इज थ्री इयर्स यंगर देन एस मुझे एस का पता नहीं है तो मुझे एफ आर और एस या फिर एस एफ और एस इन दोनों का मुझे उस हिसाब से रिलेशन में मुझे पता है इसमें क्या बनता है समझो अगर एस की एज ज्यादा होगी तो एफ की भी एज ज्यादा हो जाएगी अगर एस की एज कम होगी तो इसकी भी एज कम हो जाएगी now understand, इधर बनते हैं cases. The more relative points you have, the higher the number of cases that you guys have. And negative points का काम है वो cases को cancel करने में. तुम्हारे पास दस cases बन जाएंगे, negative points से cancel कर करके दस में से सिर्फ एक case बचेगा. And that is how the whole process of solving the LR puzzle goes. If you follow this process, then trust me, the LR puzzle will become very easy. But what about the next sum? Now next sum is a very amazing doubt that I got from one student. So now, in this sum, the problem is, our positive points are not here. Let's see. I have first made the skeleton ready for you guys. Look. O attends the interview after Thursday. M, more than three percent, O will come after Thursday. So, what will happen in these three places? What did we have given in this? First, I'll explain the sum. I'm sorry. Seven people. These people attend from Monday to Saturday. Some people are reading the newspaper. And, ये लोग कोई तो सेमिनार अटेंड करते हैं। Now we have to know, yeah. Also what we have been given is that the person जो कंसेक्यूटिव अल्फाबेट है ना वो एक साथ नहीं आते। मतलब L और M दोनों के आजुबाजु नहीं आएंगे। बाद में N और O दोनों आजुबाजु में नहीं आएंगे। They won't come in the same order। मतलब O N हो सकता है, but N O नहीं हो सकता। Because अल्फाबेट में क्या होता है? L M N O। तो N O के पहले नहीं आ सकता है। Alphabetical order में नहीं होगा, okay? That is what we have been given. Now let's move on to what the points we have been given. Now guys, I'll wait for ten seconds. You guys read the entire thing and tell me कोई भी positive points है क्या जो मैं directly इसमें डाल सकता हूँ? See. There are there are none. Don't search so much. एक भी positive point नहीं है. Everything in this sum is relative points. So, in this sum, I have calculated that there are 16 cases possible in this sum itself. 
बट आई टीच यू हाउ टू डू इट विद मोस्ट लाइक इन द मोस्ट इजी वे नाउ देखो ओ अटेंड द इंटरव्यू आफ्टर थर्सडे एंड मोर देन थ्री पीपल अटेंड द इंटरव्यू बिटवीन ओ एंड द वन हु रीड हिंदू लेट्स अज्यूम के यहाँ पे ओ होता लाइक फ्राइडे में आई ड्रॉ इट आउट फॉर यू लेट्स अज्यूम के ओ यहाँ पे है तो हिंदू यहाँ पे हो सकता है मैं हिंदू के लिए एच डी लिख देता हूं बट तो बीच में कितने जन हो गए वन टू थ्री और हमें क्या दिया है तीन से ज्यादा है सो दैट इज वाई दिस एजम्पन इज रॉन्ग दैट ओ इज ऑन फ्राइडे इसका मतलब ओ फ्राइडे को भी नहीं हो सकता ओ कैन ओनली बी ऑन सैटरडे संडे सो नाउ वंस यू हैव प्रैक्टिस इनफ ना तुम्हें समझने लगेगा वंस यू हैव प्रैक्टिस इनफ इन माय वे यू आर सॉल्व माय सम्स यू विल रियली स्टार्ट अंडरस्टैंडिंग दैट कैसे यू प्लेस थिंग्स यू अज्यूम थिंग्स बेटर सो यू आर एम अज्यूमिंग दैट मैं संडे को ओ लेता हूं एंड वापस आई कीप एच डी ईयर ओनली मैं हिंदू को यही पे रख देता हूं हम्म बाद में क्यू अटेंड द सेमिनार इमीडिएटली आफ्टर द वन हु रीड्स हिंदू तो मैं क्यू यहां पर रख देता हूं Only one person attends the seminar between P and the one who is who reads Financial Express. So I will write this. P, which may be Jan, and either Financial Express. But me, only one person attends seminar between R and the one who reads T O I, and the one who reads T O I attends seminar after R. So, meaning R dash dash T O I. But me. Two persons attend the seminar between N and the one who reads Economic Times. O does not read Economic Times. So here E T will not come. E T will come here, 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 and here. So let's try placing it somewhere. <coughs> and M attends the seminar immediately before the one who reads Economic Times. So let's try placing. Look, M here will not come. So Economic Times will not come here. So there can be two cases. Either N is up or N is down. तो लेट्स सी अगर मैंने एन यहां पे प्लेस किया तो आ जाएगा ई टी यहां पर वो नहीं हो सकता अगर मैंने एन यहां पे प्लेस किया तो आ जाएगा ई टी यहां पे एन एम यहां पे आ जाएगा वो एक पॉसिबिलिटी है एंड दूसरा पॉसिबिलिटी है दैट मैं एन को ऊपर ले लू एन यहां पे आ जाएगा ई टी एंड यहां पे प्लेस कर देता हूं एम को एंड लेस देन टू पर्सन अटेंड द सेमिनार बिटवीन एम एंड द वन हु रीड हिंदुस्तान टाइम्स एम तो फॉर नाउ लेट्स अज्यूम ये है आई एम टेलिंग यू बिकॉज ऑफ माई इंट्यूशन की ये वाला मुझे प्रॉपर ज्यादा लग रहा है सो एम और हिंदुस्तान टाइम्स वर्ल्ड में दो से कम लोग हैं सो आई देर हिंदुस्तान टाइम्स कैन बी यर और हिंदुस्तान टाइम्स कैन बी यर ये दो जगह पे हो सकता है हिंदुस्तान टाइम्स मैं अभी के लिए दोनों जगह लिख देता एंड आई नाइदर आर नॉर ओ रीड द हिंदुस्तान टाइम्स एंड आर और टी ओ के बीच में एक जन है ना तो अगर मैंने आर को यहां प्लेस किया यहां पे तो यहां पे टी ओ आई आना चाहिए तो एम ऊपर नहीं तो एच टी यहां पर नहीं हो सकता अगर यहां पर टी ओ आई प्लेस कर दिया लेट्स बाकी चीजें कैसे खुलती है And guys, I'm saying this. Never make cases. एक ही टेबल में सब सॉल्व करो आई टीच यू हाउ डोंट वरी बाद में टू पर्सन जाते सेमिनार बिटवीन द वन हु रीड डेक्किन एंड द वन हु रीड हिंदुस्तान टाइम्स सो अगर हम हिंदुस्तान टाइम्स को यहां प्लेस करते हैं यहां प्लेस करते हैं अरे यार तो डेक्किन यहां पर आ जाएगा डी सी डेक्किन क्रॉनिकल एंड ये और ये दोनों हिंदुस्तान टाइम्स नहीं पढ़ते तो सही है द पर्सन डेकिन आर एंड क्यू डि नॉट रीड द डेकिन क्रॉनिकल हा नाउ लेट्स सी दिस मैंने क्या बोला था कि अगर एम यहां पे आया तो एक से ज्यादा अगर मैंने एच डी यहां पे रख दिया ना एच टी हिंदुस्तान टाइम्स अगर मैंने एच टी यहां पे रखा तो डेकिन क्रॉनिकल यहां पे आ जाएगा बट यहां पर हमें दिया है That R and Q do not read the Deccan Chronicle. That means HT यहाँ पे नहीं आ सकता. तो HT can only be here, Hindustan Times. So we can rest assured कि अपना Hindustan Times वाला जो है ना वो assumption सही है. And यहाँ पे आ जाएगा Deccan Chronicle. क्योंकि Deccan Chronicle और Hindustan Times के बीच में सिर्फ दो ही जन हैं. Now 
आर और एच टी वाई के बीच में एक ही जन है तो आर इधर प्लेस किया तो टी वाई यहाँ नहीं आ सकता तो सिर्फ यहाँ आएगा नाउ लेट्स गो अहेड ओ डज नॉट रीड द इंडियन एक्सप्रेस इंडियन एक्सप्रेस मुझे नहीं पता सो लेट्स ट्राई प्लेसिंग पी समेर अगर मैंने पी को यहाँ प्लेस किया तो फिनेंशियल एक्सप्रेस यहाँ पे नहीं आ सकता सो द ओनली वेदर आई कैन प्लेस पी इज यर नाउ देखो मैं अगर पी को यहाँ प्लेस कर दू तो यहाँ पे क्या आ जाएगा फिनेंशियल एक्सप्रेस और यहाँ पे आ जाएगा फिनेंशियल एक्सप्रेस एंड जो बाकी अपने पास बच गया दैट इज इंडियन एक्सप्रेस वो तो हमें दिया है कि ओ डज नॉट रीड द इंडियन एक्सप्रेस तो इंडियन एक्सप्रेस यहां नहीं आ सकता तो इंडियन एक्सप्रेस कैन ओनली बी यर एंड फिनेंशियल एक्सप्रेस कैन ओनली बी यर एंड बाकी जो लेटर बच गया वो जो आ जाएगा कौन सा है एल एम एन ओ पी क्यू आर एल एल ही गाया गया चलो एंड वी आर डन दैट्स इट दैट्स द वे दैट आई सॉल्व अ सम विथ सिक्सटीन सिक्सटीन केसेस पॉसिबल विदाउट यूजिंग एनी केसेस नाउ वाइज हाउ डिड आई डू दिस नाउ अंडरस्टैंड वॉट मोस्ट पीपल डू इज दैट दे विल सॉल्व केसेस साइड बाई साइड बाई साइड वो लोग दस केस चार पांच केस ऐसे बाजू बाजू में लिख देंगे बट उसमें तुम्हारा बहुत सारा टाइम बिगड़ जाता है I teach students to solve it in this way only, without using any cases. Trust me, this was a difficult sum. But ये सम normally I would say कि हाँ, other students would take around seven to eight to nine minutes आराम से. But I know that any of my students will solve this sum in barely three, three and a half, four minutes. उसके ऊपर ये सम में time नहीं ही जाएगा. It's because of the way that I've taught them कि cases कभी नहीं बनाना. Never make cases and never write down a lot of information in an LR sum. सीधा एल आर सम देखो स्केलेटन बनाओ और भरना चालू कर दो दैट इज हाउ यू सॉल्व इट बट ओनली इफ यू आर गुड विदर एजम्शन इफ यू आर प्रैक्टिस इनफ एंड इफ यू आर प्रैक्टिस इन राइट वे कैन यू सॉल्व इट वेरी वेल सो दैट इज हाउ यू सॉल्व अ सम विद अ लॉट ऑफ केसेस इन अ वेरी शॉर्ट टाइम नाउ सो आई होप यू गाइज रियल एंजॉय दिस नाउ लेट्स गो अड अच्छा हाँ आज के लिए ये मैंने दो ही सम लिए थे नाउ I am asking you guys. Can you guys send me the sums again regularly? As I said, the doubt solving Saturdays is where I solve. Every Saturday I solve the doubts, and on Sunday I'll upload a video. <coughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. So every Saturday I'll solve the doubts. You can send me the doubts by Saturday, and I'll upload a video upload. Karo ga. Jo bhi doubt solve hua hai unki. Uh, if you guys want to learn how to solve sums in this way, how to solve sums very fast, uh, how to solve the CET very fast. then uh, i can really help you out i have my own course that is called crack every test for the people who don't know my course includes a uh, daily lrdi practice there is daily uh, practice for english vocabulary and grammar apart from that there are 20 24 lectures now uh, of all of them basically they have strategy they have analysis sare videos hai isme i have 21 academic lectures and i have other uh, sorry 20 academic lectures and i have four lectures out of which three are specially on cet doubt solving strategy and i'm going one strategy and one analysis lecture have been recorded you get them immediately i'm going to take three more sessions uh, two of them on strategy and one just before cet to make sure that the strategy for cet is perfect okay so uh that brings my entire course up to 24 25 lectures all of them are around 2 to 2 and a half hours long and uh, i have tried to give out as much information as i can in all of these mm -hmm. so much that my students literally have to see my lectures twice so that they can take in everything so i'm pretty sure that they are going to help you they are very helpful to the students who have taken them and uh, so basically what i say is that even if you join my course or not but this is the time that you start studying for cet very regularly you start studying for cet very very well and uh, start studying very hard and more than start sorry more than start starting to study hard start studying smart cet is not a hard workers game cet is a smart workers game and that is what i try to make you i try to make you a smart worker i try to teach you my tricks all my tricks and shortcuts so that you can solve the cet in the least amount of time okay So guys, it was really nice meeting you, and uh, I'll see you back. And this is these are my contact details. You can contact me anytime, and uh, I really hope to see you guys again. Chalo.